The effort was special in as much as it was a one industry city. And I think you could be safe saying that it was second to none in its heyday with the lumber and shingle industry. You had a city that um, within uh, 30 years was 30,000 people from being nothing. And that was unlike, the, there were other cities on the sound, but none quite like this. And whenever you have a one industry city, it becomes a heavily unionized city like Everett did. Another city that comes to mind is Butte, Montana, with copper being, being that similar sized city, or Johnstown, Pennsylvania with the steel industry, where one single thing dominates everything that goes on in the city. It might be a, a good opportunity to go back and talk about how Everett got started. Because Everett was a planned industrial city, started in the early 1890s, and backed by the fortune of John D. Rockefeller. And the idea was to have different types of industries. And there'd be a nail works on the waterfront, uh, there was going to be a shipyard on the riverfront, and a smelter that was going to process the ore that came out of the Cascade Mountains, and then the pulp and paper mill in Lowell. Those are the four big industries. Well, for a variety of reasons, uh, the whole project just failed. And the main reason was an 1893 recession that swept the country, really a depression. In fact, the worst we had until the 1930s. And so the whole thing fell apart. But in the meantime, Jim Hill had brought the Great Northern Railroad to Everett. And that was in 1893. And Hill always thought that the real future of this area was not in a diversified economy, but one based on the wood products. And so in 1900, he picked up the remnants of that old Rockefeller enterprise and uh, transformed what had been the Everett Land Company into the Everett Improvement Company with the intention of making Everett a mill town. And he succeeded. In 1900, Everett had about 8,000 people. 10 years later, they had 25,000 people. And that was all fueled by uh, that transformation to the mill town. Uh, so Hill played a, a very significant role. In fact, I'd say the most significant role in terms of that mill town economy that, that Everett had for two thirds of a century. What happened here isn't gonna happen again. That these were people that worked with their hands, not their head. And it didn't take very long to learn how to work on the green chain. I mean, you picked it up in an hour. <clears throat> and that the kind of jobs that we're gonna see in the future our jobs, are, you know, you use your head instead of your hands. Uh, but that this was an important era that we had.